doctrines of devils. You understand? That's what we subscribe to today. We have our own history, our own nationality. We have our own everything. But we've been scattered across the earth and learned all the ways of the heathen. All right? That's a curse that God wrote about. All right? Get that Leviticus chapter 26. All right? Leviticus chapter 26. This is who we are today. All right? I think it's verse 30. Verse 33. The book of Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 33. Come on. And I will scatter you. I will do what? I will scatter you. This is a curse that was put upon us by the Lord. Come on. Among the heathen. Among who? Among the heathen. What did we do when we got scattered amongst the heathen? Our women started wearing pants dressed like men. Mm -hmm. our, our men started speaking effeminate and shaving off all the hair on their body and dressing like women. You understand? We learned these things amongst who? The heathen. All right? The Egyptians. Mm -hmm. All right? We learned these amongst the Persians, the Medes, all of these other nations that were around us. All right? We've taken on their ways over the ways of the Most High God. We made marriages with their women. Interracial marriage is against God. Right. Come on. And we'll draw out a sword after you. And your land shall be desolate. Is our land desolate today? We don't even have a land. The people that live in our land are imposters. All right? They are imposters today. Uh, Lamentation chapter 5. All right? Lamenta what are we reading about? Your history in the Bible. Right. All right? This is your history in the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Make it plain. All right? Read what you got. I want verse 1. Lamentations chapter 5 and verse 1. Brother, sister, y'all come over here and learn about the Bible. Learn your nationality. Read what you got. The book of Lamentations chapter 5 and verse 1. Come on. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach, our inheritance. Our what? Our inheritance is turned to strangers. This is why we don't have a land today. All right? Jerusalem is our God-given land. We don't have that land today. There's a strange people that live in Jerusalem today. All right? We were brought, we were driven out of our land into Africa, and from Africa made our way to America on cargo slave ships. All right? Come on. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. Our houses to who? To aliens. Those are imposters that are living in our land today. All right? It's been given to a strange people due to our sin. All right? Due to our sin is why our nation, is why our land, our city, our t everything that we've had that was a part of our culture has been given to another people. All right? right? And we got aliens in there today, imposters, strangers living in Jerusalem. Come on. We are orphans. We're what? We are orphans. That means that we without a father. We've become without a father when we've chosen to go away, all right, from the commandments and the laws that we read about in this Bible that was given to us. Come on. And fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are as what? Are as widows. Have you seen a widow before? Usually she's in mourning. You understand? She's sad, right? She doesn't have the tutorage or the guidance or the instruction that she had when she had a husband. You understand? Our husband is who? Who are we married to? Christ, the Lord. You understand? We're preparing ourselves as a bride for him. But today we've forsaken everything that he has given us to protect us. We don't have a hedge around us anymore. These commandments was our hedge. All right? When we chose birthdays, we said, forget it. When we chose Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, we, we, we put our hedge down. We put our guards down. You understand? Now we're vulnerable. We're vulnerable to, 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 uh, to all the evil. All right? All the oppression, all the pestilence, all the famine, all of these things that was created, all right, for the other nations. Now we subject to them too. Come on. We have drunken our water for money. We what? We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. How we get water today? How we get uh, food today? All right? How we get these things today? We got to go to our enemies and beg for them. We got to work hard all week to go give it back to our oppressors. Give it back to the same people that took our riches from us. 
That's how we get our water today, out the Sani. That's how we get our Aquafema. You gotta pay a water bill. All of these different things you go to your enemies for. We don't own any of these things. All right, this was a curse that was put upon us back during the time of Moses. All right, when we and our forefathers forsook for God's commandments, all right, we gave our inheritance to strangers. That's what happened. We made an exchange. They took on everything that God gave us for our glory. Come on. Our necks are under persecution. Our what? Our necks are under persecution. You know how we under persecution today? If you don't take a vac, uh, if you don't take a shot today or a jab today, right? Are you gonna keep your job? Bring it out. It's a possibility that you won't. Teach. All right. It's a it's a po it's a possibility that you won't. Well, who's writing these laws? Who's making these rules? Who's determining whether you can work or whether you get fired? Whether you uh, must take a must must get a created uh, a remedy uh, for a created virus. Or, or, or whether or whether you can allow the most high God and your immune system to fight off what's been created. Who determines that today? All right? Your oppressors determine that today. They determine that. We don't have any say in that today. That's what you call persecution. That's what you call oppression. That's what you call somebody got their foot on your neck. Come on. We labor and have no rest. We do what? We labor and have no rest. The only rest we got today is the Sabbath day. That's it. We only got the Sabbath day. Right. We work in six days a week, five days a week. We take the Sabbath off to go out and do the Lord's work. And this is our rest. This is the rest that we have. This is all we have left for us in this captivity is to do the Lord's work. That's it. That's it. No days off. Your only day off is to do the Lord's work. Come on. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. All right, stop right there. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.